How's it going guys? Welcome back to West of Loathing. We just, just dealt with the clowns at the campsite here. I don't know if I want to go straight to the circus just yet. That's probably where I'm more or less going to be making my way to. Maybe I deal with like the Potemkin gang or something before we totally get focused on the circus storyline. I don't really know exactly what my plan is here. A nearby cloud of dust turns out to be a bandit on a horse riding hell for leather for unknown reasons. Well, I know them, but you don't. You pull your horse up alongside hers and match her speed. Hey, what's up? Where's the fire? Get bent and or lost. Trick her out of her boots. Yeah, I mean, I could fight her, but let's just see if we can get some boots. Why not? Listen, those nice boots of yours are getting covered with dust from all this hard riding. Fortunately, I'm running a horseback shoe sign. Shoe, shoe shine. That's fun to say, but it doesn't make a lick of sense. I actually avoided saying it two times in a row because it was quite difficult for me to say. Sure it does. You don't need your boots on when you're riding, so it's the perfect opportunity. Just two meat and I'll shine them up real nice for you. That's a pretty good deal, okay. She reaches down and pulls off her boots and hands them to you, all on the back of a horse that's very impressive. Whereupon you haul on your reins, wheeling your horse around and galloping away in the opposite direction. By the time the bandit realizes what has happened, it's far too late for her to catch up to you. Works every time. Hightail and boots. The boots that you steal from someone and then hightail it away from them. These boots are perfect for dodging whatever's coming at you and then getting out of dodge. More AP and more speed. Oh, damn. I think I have boots that maybe add moxie right now. AP and speed. That's a pretty good bonus. I might actually need to take those. Well, I mean, I've already taken them. I may need to put them on my feet is more what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's go for the Potemkin gang next. You encounter a bandit who doesn't look very bandit-like, due to the lab coat and slide rule holster. Fortunately, she's also wearing the standard black bandit hat, otherwise you might not have been able to tell. Every time I see a black hat in this game, am I supposed to assume they're a bad, a bad guy? That seems to be the case. There's also like the black hat bandit gang or whatever, and I don't know if this person's a, a part of that or not. Alright, Buster, this is a stick-up. Hand over the meat. You don't seem to have a gun. How about I just punch you out and leave instead? I'd like to see you try, because I've invented an anti-punching ring, and that would help me test it. Hand over the meat, con her out of some meat. I would be really curious to see how he does that. I really could get away with not fighting very much in this game if I just hornswoggle people instead. But no, I'm curious about this anti-punching ring. If that's a real thing that you have, then I think I want that. And a good way to get that is to gun down the scientifically minded bandit and see if she was telling the truth. You proved once for all that science is not as powerful as force of bullying. <laughs> Hope, hopefully her fancy science ring works better for you than it did for her. Well, it wasn't an anti-gunfire ring, that's for sure. Ring of moderate unpunchability. This ring has a weak enchantment on it that renders its wearer nominally less punchable than usual. I thought maybe it could completely negate punching. Considering I'm more susceptible to melee attacks, I thought that might be good. Uh, alright, let's 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 go run over to the Potemkin gang and we can maybe consider putting on some of this new gear. Side of the trail, can't do anything with it, don't have foraging, just ignore it. I think I'll keep the nasty ring. Boots though, they just add 1 AP, this adds AP and speed. High tail and boots, it is. Definitely worth keeping those. Oh, look at this, there's all kinds of stuff at the Potemkin gang thing. The non-fake horse sales, did they just have an entire, they just set up an actual town here? Town hall for an actual town. Yeah, seems like a full legitimate town. Wow, these guys put a lot of work into this, and here I am coming in to disrupt the whole thing. You duck into the outhouse to plan your next move. While you're pondering, you notice something weird. This outhouse has a back door. Leave through the back door? Yeah, let's see what's going on over there. <gasps> Would you look at that? I can literally just blow this place up, are you kidding me? What? And what's what's this? The hefty load? This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just a flat plywood, like a theatrical set. Hmm, the ropes that are holding this thing up don't look very strong. You can knock it over pretty easily, but you should probably hold off until the right moment. I wonder if I should go interact with some of the gang out front before I just go blowing things up. It seems, oh, I, it's not an option, I can't do it. 
I thought I could just reach in there and blow it up. That seems like it would be a lot of fun. What about this frowny guy? He's not wearing a hat. Maybe he's not even a bandit. It is. The bandit looks distraught. What's the matter, buddy? I lost my belt buckle. Did you look near the bar, the jail, the hostlers, under a shoe, next to the river, on a train, in a plane, underground, all around, perhaps? Did you look near the bar? Oh, good idea. I'll look there. Oh, do I just need to get this guy away from different areas or what I have no idea a guy shouts don't go in there that house is haunted okay people are just constantly running around trying to guard things it's condemned I didn't get to see I didn't get to see the full thing uh, haunted it runs over to stop you this one is condemned it's not safe runs over to stop you and ooh, that person runs away from me vacation right now uh, visiting hours are over and you go look near town hall and what does it say about the bar? Bar's closed for piano repair and he runs over to stop you. How do I tang? I, I can't even talk to this guy. I didn't even notice that it said real jail. A bar is regular, real jail. And then I read the I read the rest of them. Genuine TNT and sandwiches. How, if I get all of them in the one location, is that, maybe that's how I, I get this to work out? So if I try to go into the town hall, Good luck with that, you just stay there. And if I chase this person who runs away from me and chase them all the way to there. All right, now I gotta follow you here. Good luck with that. Oh, okay, I got all three of them in one location. I have no reason to suspect that that's anything actually though. This smells like some kind of trick. Better keep your eyes peeled. Yeah, no shit, I'm a few steps ahead of you, I think. Oh, I probably have to cut that rope, so I probably have to make everyone go to the jail for that to work, right? I think that was the one that was tied up with the rope. There, now you three just wait right there for me. Second from the end. Alright, perfect. Let's cut this then. Cut the ropes. This is the back of the jail. Turns out it's just flat pilot. Uh, crash! The fake building falls over. The real bandits. Well, sorry about that. Do I do anything with this TNT? I'm just gonna leave that be isn't worth messing with. Was there an, an alternate way of handling this quest that involved blowing things up maybe? Wow, this is pretty gruesome. I just flattened these guys, didn't I? Oh, look at them. They just kind of got stunned. Well, now do I fight them or what do I do? The gang's knocked out. You can arrest them now if you want. I bet you I get money for arresting them, but I also get an achievement if I just kill everyone. And so far I've been killing everyone. So this seems like a really messed up thing to do, but I'm just going to execute them. You kill the Potemkin gang in a way that is a little too gruesome to actually describe. All that's left is three little blobs of tar-like goop. I don't know why we decided to go quite so aggressively violent, quite sadistic there, but uh, sure, whatever, that works. These three little piles of sticky black goo are all that's left of the Potemkin gang. Serves them right to be gooified, if you ask me. Let's mm, lazily mosey our way back to town. Ah, you have a run-in with the worst smelling snake you've ever seen. It's basically a cartoon stink line come to life. We already fought a smeleton. I'm trying to think of how it could be like a smell snake, a smurpent, a serpent smell. Hold your nose and fight it. Now I'm curious. I mostly just want to know what it's called. The Great Western Turtles? Turtle snake? Turlet snake? I don't understand how that relates to smell in the least. So instead, I'll just kill it. It's got all these stink lines coming off of it all over the place. It's too, too stinky to live. I know he's just going to break this barricade, but I'm a little scared he'll do a lot of damage. He's got, he's got an awful lot of moxie for a snake. Oh, good. He's also ranged. So the barricade was the, uh, the right call then. You finish him off, Susie. Thank you for the help. Phew! Good thing it wasn't as strong as it smelled. I've already had a snake spleen before. You will like not to keep the skin from this one. A little too stanky, perhaps. Let's head our way back to town, and then we can hit up the tannery? Because that had something to do with... I can't remember exactly, but that had something to do with the circus clowns, I think. If I recall somewhat correctly. Hello again, what's up? Give her the sticky black goo. Okay, three piles of sticky black goo? Gross, what's this for? It's the Potemkin gang. The... the heck did you do to them? 
don't ask. Okay, well, here's your reward. Next time, bring back some less disgusting evidence, please. What if I brought her? I brought her ears, teeth, and goo. The ears were pretty nasty too, but the goo is arguably, could, could be the grossest one. Ooh, a little more muscle, thanks a bundle. And an yet another, oh yes, never mind. I, I, was, I was thinking like, this has got to be getting awfully full. Nope, still totally empty because everyone is dead. So this must be the last contract, unless that ghost cell is something still. A fifth wanted poster. The Jerkin Brothers for kidnapping, brining, kidnapped victims, and attempting sale of human flesh for consumption. These guys are pretty fuck fucked up. <laughs> last scene headed for the old abandoned pickle factory. Oh man, finally. It was so, so long ago that we found those barrels that we thought were full of pickles and we got tricked. I've just been looking for a good pickle this whole time and have yet to find one. Can't let these dastardly criminals escape justice. It wouldn't be kosher. Would you like to investigate? Yes, indeedy. You mark the old pickle factory on your map. Old and abandoned, apparently. Where's that going to be at? Up yonder. I, it's it's helpful that it flashes. These ones are just new because I haven't been to it, the flashy one. Really, really helpful for tracking new things. You're riding towards your destination. You pass a building in which a barn dance is happening. I guess that makes it a barn. I mean... Is that true? Can you only do a barn dance at a barn? Not sure. I've never done a barn dance myself. The people inside seem to be having a pretty good time. Join in with all my moxie. You mosey in and have a grand old time at the barn dance. You even learn a few new moves. Most of the moves involve pretending to reel somebody in from across the dance floor with a lasso, but still, they're new moves. There's, I, I guess people just have a lot of variance on that one move. Sounds an awesome, awful lot like the, uh, the fishing move where you, lure, you pretend to lure someone in like a fish. Good go-to move if you got someone to do it with. You find a wrecked bank stagecoach with a strong box in the back. It's too heavy to carry, but too locked to open. Let's do it. Probably loaded with meat. You pop the lock open, find a ton of meat inside, and since the serial numbers aren't sequential, the bank probably won't be able to trace it, and you keep it for yourself. Awesome. Non-sequential meat. That is... I don't know how they're labeling the meat. I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly how they're doing it, but good to know that that won't be tracked. You notice a smoldering hole in the ground and recognize it as the habitat of the southeast western coal snake. They keep it themselves, but they're also known to enjoy fighting. I've already killed one of these things, and I have, uh, I'm pretty sure that's what I'm wearing on my hat as the extra moxie bonus thing. Whatever, I'll give it a quick shot, and then I'll, then let's go with the tannery now. That's enough random wandering around. Wandering is a good way to get random meat items, level ups, and then, then you gotta fill it in with actual quests in between. Weird that this place is so far away from town. You never smell a working tannery? Ooh, lucky you. Guess we'd better check it out. It sounds like there's a lot of fighting going on inside the tannery, except instead of the regular fighting sounds you're used to, like shouting and gunfire and chairs being broken over people's backs, you hear a lot of ghostly bellowing and shrill cackling laughter. Sounds like a real bad scene in other words. There's not actually ghosts in there, is there? This is where the clowns were. There's something the clouds were operating out of here in some way, weren't they? As you enter the tannery, the second thing you notice is that the place has been abandoned for years, probably since the cows came home. A lot of the equipment is wrecked and all of it's covered with dust. Oh, so it's like definitely haunted then, right? The first thing you notice is that there's a bunch of rodeo clowns in here fighting with, well, they aren't cows exactly. They're more like the possessed skins of cows. That's really gross. That all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I just remembered about the unguliths. I still should go back and try and fight the unguliths at some point, but I'm very scared that they might actually secretly be really strong. I'm glad this is clown related. I was starting to feel like I was losing track of the story here and that the, this had nothing to do with clowns. That's a little strange because you've seen people wearing, for example, cow leather chaps and you've never seen anyone being attacked by their chaps. Maybe there's something about the tanning process that makes the leather impervious to possession, and these cow ghost whatevers are untanned hides? You just, you gotta get in there while they're still fre fresh? In any case, the clowns and cows, oh, weird to say those together, seem preoccupied enough with their fighting that they haven't noticed you, at least not yet. Oh my goodness. 
It's just like a sheet with horns and splotches. What's all this lie? No, I don't want to deal with that. I want to look at all the lie. Nothing I can do with that just yet. Maybe, maybe nothing I can do with ever. Holy sweet fuck, I can jump? I've never jumped before. There seems to be literally no purpose for it. I can't think of a single time where that might have come in handy, but I just have never done it. Manure everywhere, manure and lime. Oh man, are they all defending this one? Because that looks an awful lot like that, uh, that cow thing that was painted onto the wall that one time. Fuck me, there's a lot of cows in here. This door is locked, which is probably just as well considering the ruckus you hear on the other side of it. Just a lot more of this fighting is there? Well, let's see if we try and take on what looks to be like the smallest. There's some cool stuff with the camera going on here. This is the smallest, simplest fight. Let's approach this one first. I don't care much for these clown fellas, but if they're against the cows, maybe they're all right. You won't be satisfied leaving here with any cows still alive, will you? I mean, double dead? You gotta make sure they're completely dead. Only been a short time and already you know me so well, Haas. Heh. <laughs> Let's see, as you approach the clown and weird cow leather ghost thing, they take notice of you and stop fighting while they process the new development. This is like the fourth time this dialogue box has come up, so I guess this has happened a few times and they've just carried on fighting again after. The clown, fortunately, seems to decide he hates cows more than he hates you. The cow, unfortunately, decides it hates you more. Uh, so I, I would fight the cow in this instance. Let's try, let's try it. Hopefully, whoa, he's gonna help me? Can I only do melee damage to these things? That's my main concern right now. Oh good, I still can shoot it. I really, really assumed I wouldn't be able to. You can build a barricade, but my guess is that this thing does magical damage. Oh my god, it's Muscle Mysticality and Moxie are way higher than I thought they would be. Much higher than like its actual HP would indicate. Uh, a skin cow. Ah, uh, give him a quick blast. No, let's... Oh, it only does one damage. Alright, let's not use our hot poker then. Let's just give him a quick shot. Let's see now. You beat the cow, but the enemy of your enemy is apparently not your friend. Because the clown decides it's his turn to be on the right side of the screen. <laughs> it just quickly flips over. Alright, I guess now we're fighting too. Luckily, all of this stuff resets. I get my action points back. God, I hate the way he laughs while he's getting shot at. Damn you, Susie. Why can't you do any damage to anything? I mean, I guess when they have that much moxie... They just have that much defense against it. Makes you makes you awful useless to me, if I'm being honest. I mean, if you're just gonna sit there and do zero damage, maybe I could just uh, skip your turn. Shit, did that guy just do 30-some damage? Fuck off. I don't know if I want to fight much more than one of these clowns at a time. That was uh, a much more difficult fight than I thought it might be. Well, that's one clown and one cow down. You hear a lot more fighting going on in the rest of the tannery, though, so that pat on the back will have to wait till later. Let me look at this for a second. My god, my moxie and all of this stuff is a lot lower than that clowns and, and skin cows were. I don't think I can really take on three melee clowns because I won't be able to barricade any of them. Uh, this seems an awful lot like something I don't think I'm ready for. I think these clowns are quite tough and I would definitely be killed. Let's make our way to like one small little adventure and we can consider coming back there another time. Let's try the big apple. I'm not sure what to expect from that. Some thwack, thwack noises lead you to the sight, and the sight of a goblin chopping down a large cactus. When it sees you, it waves his axe at you threateningly and makes some angry sounding noises. Man, if you never got goblin tongue, I think they have it set up so that goblins would always seem bad. He's waving the axe at you threateningly when really, uh, what's he saying? Hey, it's a human person. Hey, human person, away to going. It's my cactus. That's mine and not yours. Talk to it. Uh, hello. How, how, how are you? I'll, I'll not your cactus taking. Good, yes. Good, hello. Why are you to chopping a cactus down? Why? 
with a lot of uses to building, to burning, to eating, to little toothpicks. I thought it, oh, I thought it was gonna be lockpicks, not toothpicks. I kind of saw that out of the corner of my eye. Trick it out of its meat. They won't kill him. I just want I just want meat. Would you like some help to cutting these down? Yes, I to thanking you. Help, yes, and meat to paying you. Is that really hornswoggling if you're just gonna pay me? Great, you'll have to show me what to do first. To doing. Watch him work. The goblin chops down a cactus to demonstrate, but you don't think you've quite got the idea. So you have him chop down another one, then another one. By the time you think you understand, all the cacti are cut. Fortunately, he paid you in advance. That's, uh, s there it was hornswoggling after all. Some mighty fine hornswoggling, I say. As you reach the center of the clearing, you are simultaneously struck with a profound awe and a terrible stench as you discover the largest road apple you've ever seen. You can't even imagine how this got here. Was it a giant horse? Was it 200 normal-sized horses acting collaboratively? They... they should have sent a poet. Yeah, they should have. Oh, gross. You know, I actually tried to Google horse apple, and it's a weird, fucked-up-looking fruit. Turns out it just means a big pile of shit. Doesn't smell any better up close. To clean it up for some experience, you make a little dent. Keep digging. Oh, look at that. Look at all this leveling up I can do. It's smaller than it was before. Keep cleaning. I'm sure you'll get all kinds of experience at the bottom of it. I'm sure there'll be something worth, uh, worth the trouble, right? Hopefully? Oh, I got a hell of a lot of experience from that, actually. Way more than I would have guessed. There's a lot of... A lot of cheering and stuff for that. Was that literally all it was? Oh, but now I kind of ruined this attraction, didn't I? Are you just doing this for your health? Because I reckon we can find us a more entertaining option. Yeah. Honestly, though, we spent a hell of a lot of time on that. People are going to be mad. The Big Apple? There's just nothing there anymore. Someone's going to someone's gonna be upset. Those tourist dollars aren't going to just come... They don't come from nowhere, you know? You spy a burned out old ranch house in the horizon and pull old dumb dumbass up to investigate. There's nothing much of interest above ground, but you find a locked door leading down into a presumably still intact root cellar. This might be my last lock pick, but I gotta... Ah, none of that's even that great. Darn it, I probably shouldn't have wasted the lock pick. Maybe I can wander and find myself a new lock pick. You find a safe, I can't do anything with that. If I have silver bullets, I might have to go change them into locks. We'll have to we'll have to decide later as w when we come when we come to it. Howdy there, I'm wandering Sally. Howdy Sally, I'm the grimy. What's your line? Trading? I wander all around these lands just like it says on the label, and I buy a little here and sell a little there to make my way. Care to see the wares? Well, yeah, sure thing. Oh, okay, we actually get to pull up into our camp here. Toasty. Uh, what could we do with an apple? Increase maximum HP by 20 for the rest of the day. That's pretty damn good. I might as well take it. Carrot. Item drop bonus. That's useful. Can kill a lot of goblins at once, but it takes a while. <laughs> what? How? The instructions on the can say, put near sight of fungal inf infestation. Light fuse, do not breathe. I wonder how long you're supposed to not breathe for. A lock? The padlock's got its name because it's like a wizard that protects your house. A pad... Oh, like a warlock, I guess? Is that what it's saying? I have no idea what use I could have for that. A marigold? I know what you're thinking. Not so lucky for the marigold, but actually marigolds aren't conscious, so they can't really conceive of good or bad luck. Oh, good needles. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted, so thank you for that. And work boots? No, my high tail and boots, I think, fit me a little bit better. I might as well take the lock. Could could come in handy with some random storyline or another, I'm sure. Well, I was hoping maybe I could have got just a little bit more from you, Sally. That wasn't uh, wasn't a great lineup of wares, if you ask me. But maybe we'll see each other again and you'll have a bit more to offer me. You take care of yourself, young Sally. Perhaps we'll meet again. And thank you guys so much for watching. Perhaps we'll meet again. Hopefully. Hopefully so. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Whoa, okay. She actually just... I can actually go find her camp more in the future? I wonder if I go anywhere. Like if I went to the rescue mission or like anywhere. And then brought the map back up if it would have wandered and moved it all. I'll have to check back up on there later and see if she's got more for me.